All right, uh, first of all, happy birthday to Tony Elliott and DeAndre McDaniel. Today was their birthday, so a great way to celebrate uh, with those guys. Uh, just really, um, really happy for our team, proud of our team, tremendous preparation. Um, the guys were, were locked in and ready to play from the open snap and just, you know, really uh, dominated the game all four quarters. Uh, very happy for our seniors. To have another home game, last home game, we, we obviously didn't didn't get it done, and for them to have another opportunity to play tonight was uh, was special for them. And those guys uh, just played awesome. You know, I always tell them that you know if you if if you're going to win a championship of any kind, your best players have to play well. I mean, if if, if the Cavs show up and LeBron don't play well, they're probably going to have a long night. And you know, there's everybody's got a, a role and a responsibility. And, that's the thing that I'm most pleased with. Our best players played incredibly well. And uh, every skill senior we had scored a touchdown tonight. Leggett, Artavis, uh, 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 Mike, uh, just uh, got Wayne. Uh, obviously, uh, Deshaun threw six of them. So just really happy for those guys and how they played. And then defensively, you know, Bowler and Carlos and Cordray, Jadar, uh, those guys played a, played a heck of a ball game. Uh, just all three phases, uh, big plays and special teams. But, uh, you know, this, that was our next goal. So, you know, we, we, we're division champs, we're state champs, and I'm really happy for our fans. Uh, I know how important this game is to everybody uh, outside. And, uh, you know, I'm happy for our fans that, uh, you know, they get to uh, kind of have the bragging rights, I guess, for, for, uh, for another year. Uh, but. Uh, you know, I think that uh, South Carolina is a team that I know it, it, it was didn't go the way they wanted it tonight, but you know, I definitely think Will uh, has done a heck of a job for them this year. You know, from where they were last year to where they are this year, getting them in a bowl and having an opportunity to continue to develop their team. Um, you know, those guys have done a good job. But tonight was a night where you know our team, you know, just just played incredibly well. Uh, we controlled the line of scrimmages on both sides. They couldn't run the ball. We could, uh, and I thought that set the tempo for everything else in the ball game. Uh, made them play on a long field all night. That, I thought that was going to be a critical key for us uh, to not give them any short fields and to make them have to put some long drives together. Uh, so really proud of our guys for that. Uh, I think we were even in the margin, uh, which is a huge stat for us uh, personally, in uh, usually in how we play, but. Uh, 11 and one is a great season. Uh, now for us, it's about you know moving on and seeing if we can uh, win the ACC championship. That's our goal. This time next week, I'm ho I hope I'm in front of you guys and we're we're celebrating the ACC title. That's that's what we set out to do. All the rest of it, you know, those are things that we don't control. Uh, our goal is to to win this conference, and we've got a great opportunity to do that. These guys have worked very very hard uh, to put themselves uh, in position. To do that, we we haven't been back to back champs in since in 28 years since since that's happened. So uh, big opportunity, obviously a tough team in Virginia Tech that we got to get ready for. They're a champion as well. Uh, we're both champions. Saturday night there'll be one champion, and uh, you know we're going to do everything we can to to make sure that's us. But uh, offensively, 600 and something yards. Uh, proud of Deshaun. What a night. Uh, Wayne set the tempo. And again, all the all the receivers I thought made some plays, and all of our backs ran well. So I want to uh, really tip my hat to that offensive line. When you have that type of balance, I think there was one sack in the game, uh, and that was on a, a missed call, uh, a missed signal. We checked the play, and, and um, one of our receivers didn't get the play, and so we we ended up getting a sack there. But just those guys competed, did a great job for us. So. Um, Special teams, had some nice plays in special teams. Kickoff coverage, tremendous. Had a couple nice punt returns. And, uh, and then defensively, uh, you know, held them to 110 yards through three quarters. Uh, we got another 100, I think, in the fourth quarter. But uh, uh, just hats off. We subbed a lot of people, and the guys continued to play well, which I think is, is, a, is great for them. And it speaks well to how we develop our players and, and their attention to details, even though they may or may not get in the game. Uh, you know, we had all of our scouts in there the last part of the fourth quarter, and those guys continued to play hard too. So really happy for everybody that they got a chance to play. But 
seven tackles for loss and three sacks, and I thought the interception by Jadar was a key play in the game because they just blocked the field goal, had a little momentum. Then we come back and, and get the interception in a short field. I thought that was uh, uh, a big part. So really proud of our guys. We'll move on quickly and, uh, and get ready for this next one.